Hey guys, what's up? It's Brooke, and this week I am joined by... It's me. Tarzan! Now he's ghetto house. Yeah, she <laughs> is from Abby's Ghetto Vlog. It's Abby. And this week we're going to be doing the prank call challenge. And I got this idea from Gen X Pen. Basically what we're going to do is we have three hats. Yeah, three hats. And in them is a number, a letter, and an idea. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be prank calling. And we're going to get a letter. We're going to get a number so we see how far we got to go down our contact list. And we have an idea. So... I'm nervous and excited. Me too. Cool. So who goes first? Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> <laughs> so am I going first? No, I lost. I have to go first. Oh, okay. Sweet. Hello. Hey, I don't think I can be friends with you anymore. Who is that? Um, I just, I just can't be friends with you anymore. My mom said that I just can't, you know, like... <sighs> Ooh, that's what she said to me. She said no being friends. I think you have the wrong number, young lady. Oh my gosh, sir, I'm sorry. I'm uh, 69 years old, but I'm oh. into that. <laughs> hey, this is Regan. Leave me a message so I can call you back. Should I leave a message? Yeah, maybe. Hey, um, I'm sorry, but I can't be friends with you anymore because you live next to a cornfield, and I just really don't like corn. You know, corn just... I, I'd rather have you be like next to a bean field or something. Like, <laughs> corn's just dumb. I'm sorry, but no more being friends because corn. I hope you understand. Bye. I got chills. They're multiplying. Abby. Cause the power you're supplying. It's electrifying. You better shape up. Do do do. Cause I need a man. Do do do. And my heart is set on you. Do, do, do. <laughs> is it really? Hello? Hey, what are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> I was wondering if you wanted to maybe go to the movies with me. What? Do you want to go, like, see... I think the new Spider-Man movie's out. Do you want to go see that with me? Who's that? I'll call you back. Huh? Hey. Okay. You, me, tomorrow night. My house, Netflix, chill, pizza, and... Dessert. He's so confused. He's just like sitting there like, ah! I just hung up. Hey, so I know that you told me that you're really good at badminton and all. I was like asking around about you and I heard that you're good at some other things. So I don't mean to come across like an average booty call or anything, but you can snap me anytime. I think it's alright. Hello? Dude, I heard that from our friends that you were cheating on me. Like seriously, this is unacceptable. I gave my heart to you, and you just go and cheat on me? Like seriously, that is so rude. Hey, dude, do you have time to talk? Yeah, I'm sorry, what's up? Okay, so I don't know who to talk to because all my friends are really, you know, they're really good, and I feel like they're all gonna judge me, but I think I'm pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Skyla had this huge party and I just went to it and there was a whole bunch of guys and I don't know, just things happen and I didn't mean for it to happen and I sound like a slut but like I don't know, just things happen. Because all my friends, they're like starting to become distant, you know, and they're just not, they don't even like care, man. If it's a girl, I'll name her after you. No, I'm, I'm not joking around, like, <laughs> I really look up to you, man. I love you so much, I'm gonna be here for you through this all. Love you to pieces, and like, I would name my kid after you, but this is a prank call. I'm terrible, I am so freaking sorry. I don't mean to, like, I'm so sorry to Bo, I've never felt so bad at a prank call. Hey dude, so 
this is kind of odd, but like I'm at my house and I was kind of like going through some of my stuff and I was about to go penny boarding and I noticed that it wasn't there. And I was like, mm -hmm. I was thinking, I'm like, oh, who rides penny boards out of like all my friends? And I'm like, oh, Izzy does. So I was like, oh, what if Izzy like, like took my penny board at, at my bonfire, man? So like, did, did you take my penny board? I don't even know where you keep your penny board. So sure. I don't have your, I don't have your penny board. Hey Abby, did you take my penny board? No. You know, people that steal, they like, they go to hell, man. I'm aware. Abby, what are you on? Abby, oh my gosh, Abby's on my penny board right now. <laughs> what? Hello? Listen, Linda. I'm breaking up with you. Got it? Hey, listen here. It's about to get real personal, real quick. My whole life, I've been dying and waiting to tell you this. My bones have been craving for this moment my entire life. Okay. So since the centuries of ages when the dinosaurs were roaming and the little umbrellas were floating in the air, my soul has been dying for you, Rekka. I love my little Rekka so much, and I just wanted to tell you that, so that's why I'm calling you, is because I'm confessing my love, and I do love you, Rekka. I love you too. JK! <laughs> hey, I can talk now. Oh wait, never mind, I can't. Do it, ask her on a date, ask her on a date. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow night? Lisa. Janine. Oh, I think you called the wrong number. This is Lisa. No, I know. I Lisa, I'm trying to talk to you. Um, it's been a few years since we talked, but like, I just want to know if you have any plans tomorrow night. I don't know who you are. Well, you seen any good movies lately? Do what? I went to school with you. What's your name? Janine. When did you graduate? Listen, okay? I have Alzheimer's, so I can't remember when I graduated. Um, do not think call me. I'm at work right now. Thank you very much. Oh. Dude, do you remember last year when we ran into that tree together? We held hands and uh, it was really, it was really inspiring. Yes. You do? Yes. Bro, I was thinking about that and I was thinking about all the good times we had together. And it just got me thinking, like, I don't know. I've only had, like, two drinks, but it's okay. Like, I don't know. People just don't understand the life of the party, and they don't understand how hippies make it, and I just, I don't understand them. I know exactly, dude. See, this is why I call what? you, because you understand it all, man. What do you mean that tree? Like, I didn't realize, like, how... Like, you held my hand and you went through it with me, man. It was, it was really touching and inspiring and it, 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 it really yeah, got I'm to me. Yeah, I'm never gonna forget it. I'm ever. never, ever gonna forget it. Ever. It's had such an impact, like, on me as a person. Like, who I am today. Like, who I am right now. Yeah, I have it in my calendar, too. And yeah, we should have a national run in the tree day. It'll mean a lot to me. It would mean so much to this environment, and it would get rid of all the hate in the world. Now you have me in my field, dude. Literally. Like little titties, like little, 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 little. Okay, I'll see you later. I love you, man. See you, man. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. See you guys next week with a brand new video. Yeah! And if you guys did enjoy, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, because it'll make me smile. suggestions below because I'm running out of ideas so okay yeah see you guys next week with brand new video